Hey everybody, I'm back with another tarantula feeding video. Up first is my Acanthoscaria geniculata, named Wednesday. This will be her first feeding after her molt about a week ago. So she should be pretty hungry for us. This will be the first takedown I've seen from her, so... That was pretty cool. That's the first time she's taken down something alive. Before she molted, she would always just take pre-killed crickets and sometimes chopped up mealworm. Alright, let's go on to the next one. Alright, next up is my Chromatopelma sienna pubescens, named Pandora. This one eats like a tank. Uh, hate to break up some of her webbing here, but... Come on, little cricket. Let's see if we can coax that cricket over a little bit. I think she knows it's there. That cricket does not want to move. This cricket's being stubborn today. I think it knows what's awaiting for it. better shots. See, I know she wants it. There we go. There's the cricket, and there she is. As you can see, she's done quite a bit of webbing in the week and a half that I've had her. It's like playing a game of cat and mouse here. See who's going to budge first. Come on, cricket. She knows it's there. And she's she acted interested. Basically, like taking a still photograph here. Put it back on there. Oh, she's gonna run away now. All right. Well, I guess she's not gonna eat on camera for us today. All right. Let's go on to the next one. All right, let's try one more time and see if we can get a takedown from her. Come on, cricket. Bean 
being stubborn today. Leave it to me to get a smart cricket. But I mean, as you can see, she's definitely built up a ton of webbing in a week. That was one of the deciding factors on deciding to get this species. Alright, I guess we'll leave her alone. Alright, next up is my Grandma Stola Pulker piece, the Chaco Golden Knee named Aragog. Uh, he's never taken down anything alive, so this will be a first if he does. Of course, the cricket again wants to go completely opposite direction. But as you can see, he is right here. Almost got it. Cricket jumped away. There we go. See if we can get a take down here. Now he's never taken down anything alive yet, so hopefully we'll get to see him take a take down for once. I've had this one since, I want to say about the middle of December. It's only about right at maybe three quarters of an inch right now. Maybe a little bit bigger. His first molt wasn't really much of a size difference, but he definitely grew with the second one. Nobody's budging. You see little bands on his legs. Oh, there he goes. That was kind of cool. It's very unexpected. Alright, first live takedown for little Aragog. I'm definitely excited to see this guy grow up into hopefully a 7 or 8 incher. But we'll see. Let's go on to the next one. Alright, next up is Abigail, my Brachypelma smithy. Always a wonderful eater. So let's see what we get today. Yeah, and there she goes. She never turns down food unless she's in pre-molt. Which for her, she seemed like she was in pre-molt forever. You can see we've got a little bit of the red knees starting to show up on her, which is pretty cool. Let's see if we can turn around a little bit. This was the very first tarantula I ever got. Named her after the King Diamond album. Of the same name. Alright, let's go on to the next one. Alright, up next is Elvira, my Grandma Stella Polka, the Brazilian Black. I'm 
And there she goes. She's always a lot of fun to watch. I've got a hide that I'm going to give to her at some point today, so... Once I can coax her to one side, I will be sure to put that hide in there for her. Get some feeding action, please. This is a definite must-have for any tarantula owner. They get big, and they're gorgeous to look at. No fang action today. I'm just gonna stand there staring at us. Alright, let's go on to the next one. I think the last one we're going to feed today is Ripley, my Afonapelma simani, the Costa Rican zebra. It's currently the largest tarantula in my collection, at least until a couple of my others grow up. So this one never turns down feeding, so... she goes. See if we can see anything going on back here. Nope, she's going to retreat. Alright, I think that's going to be it for today. My Brachypelma of Bagans and Lassiodora Parahibana are both in pre-molt right now, so we won't be feeding them for a while. And I'll be sure to give updates on them once they do molt. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.